our next question in structure is about nested structures that is when we declare a structure inside a structure so here we see we have point as a structure which has two members x coordinate and y coordinate then we have rectangle which can be defined by two diagonal points so here we have rectangle struct point p1 struct point p2 so now the question is will this code compile the first thing then we need to learn so what is happening in this code how will the output be if it is compiling and the two important things here in these line is that we are using r dot p1 dot x r dot p1 dot y then r dot p2 dot x and r dot p2 dot y so double dot so this tells that there is some structure inside structure so we will start to see if it works so we see here that we make a point p1 we make a point p2 by initialization so we can check here if you see so this is point p1 x y is 0 p2 x y is 3 comma 4 so we go to the next line and now we have a rectangle object also made with initialization of p1 and p2 so we see we have rectangle r it is p1 so x and y are 0 0 p2 x and y are 3 comma 4 and now we go further we print the values we print the values again and let's see the output so the output is point 1 of rectangle is 0 0 and point 2 of rectangle is 3 4 so this is what is expected and we learn from this code that we can have nested structures and to access the members we need to follow again the same rule dot operators so r dot p1 is a point r is a structure we access the point using r dot p1 now p r dot p1 is itself a structure and we need to access points x and y using r dot p1 dot x and r dot p1 dot y mm -hmm. 